Statue of Liberty, the Empire State, Brilliant. Central Park. Oh, I love New York, too. Sex in the City. We have got some great games tonight, and all the housemates are dressed up as Yankees. And we've got Carl Risley on the show from Australia. Oh. And also, we've got the big fella, Terrence. Oh, Terrence, with Terrence. Terrence. Nothing could go wrong with Nothing. Terrence. Nothing. Oh. Hey, guys, New Terrence. York. Have Hi. I told you about back in the 70s when I went to New York and I was really hungry? And I went to this fruit shop and I bought this really big apple. It was yep. fantastic. Could so I had to take the liberty of saying, I'm going to start spreading the can news I, about this. I, so what I actually I, did was I went off can I, parachuting and I landed. It's I love New York on a Friday night and live. They still reckon it was the Sorry. best Queensland they've ever seen in New York City. And then I went to Central Park. Spreading the news I'm leaving today Gonna make a brand new start of it New York, New York I want to wake up In a city that doesn't sleep And find I'm king of the And Fitzy! I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. If I can make it there, I will make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New Absolutely. Hello, my name is Mike Goldman. Welcome to I Love New York Night on Friday Night Live. Today is the 4th of July. Aww. Happy Independence Day. Thanks. Happy, Happy Independence, Independence Day, Day to you. Great movie, all. Independence Day. It's not about the movie, Fitzy. Please welcome <laughs> the man who puts the man in Manhattan, Ryan Fitzgerald. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah, big show. Big show. Look at him go. Lots of great signs out there. And the woman who is to FNL what Carrie Bradshaw is to Sex in the oh, City. Oh, best intro ever. Brie Amar. <laughs> uh, Brie, speaking of Sex in the City, can you stand up? Look at this fabulous dress. That's beautiful. Give Brie's dress a round of applause. <laughs> Looking spectacular. It didn't look as good on Fitzy earlier, though. No. no. Hey, what an amazing week we had on Big Brother. The mole oh, I that, know. That, that wasn't really there. Moly, moly, Rima moly. doing Big Brother's dirty work. Rima coming back into the house was absolutely unreal. Terence leaving, but Terence will be on the show tonight. Who mm. cares? Hey, can I just say, who cares about that stuff? Yes. Because <laughs> Pamela Anderson's going into the house next week. Woo! You're guilty. <laughs> She's such hey, a good actress, I tell you. Tickets are actually available to watch Pamela Anderson bust into the Big Brother oh. house next Wednesday. Okay, okay, okay. Book your tickets now at dreamworld.com.au or call the Dreamworld Booking uh, Centre. Is, 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 is there any tickets two? left? Is there tickets yeah, left? Yeah, there is. I thought they would have been sold uh, out. I think there's one or two left. These two have been going to the gym twice a day instead of once a day to get ready for Pammy. I've bought, myself, hey, losers. I've bought myself a pair of red Speedos and just been hanging <laughs> down the beach. There. Hey, Pussy, where are we going to sit, Pamela Anderson? Will we sit over here normally over next here. to Brie? Or? Here, right over here. 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 <laughs> no. You're nuts about it, aren't you? Can't wait. It's going to be a great one. Yeah. But tonight is going to be absolutely awesome as well. Let's head down and check out the arena. 
Oh, look, there's an inch. Oh, New but York style. Spreading the news. The oh, ninjas God, they... are oh, in the arena. All out of time. They can't even do it in time. That's why they're ninjas and not ballerinas. <laughs> look, at Ginger Ninjas had his hair shampooed and conditioned tonight. Look at that. That's fluffy ass. Yeah, isn't the, it? the ninjas had a few pre show drinks, I think. Oh. Only two weeks to go, and, you know, we're gone in two weeks. That's it for the show. <laughs> I know. Sad, isn't it? $250,000 up for grabs, so it's really getting serious. Let's get this party started and see who will be the king of queens and who will get the NYPD blues. Ooh. This is Big Brother, housemates. It's time to enter the arena. <laughs> Stand behind the white line and face the Big Brother house. Housemates. Happy Independence Day. Tonight is I Love New York Night. <laughs> Cherry, hand the head of household armband to the ninja. Your reign is over. Tonight's winner will win a mystery prize. They will be the head of the household. And with only two weeks remaining, they will win the ultimate power of the eviction twist. Housemates, tonight you compete in the most important games so far. <coughs> Play hard. Play smart. Play to win. All housemates to the holding area. One housemate will win the ultimate power. It is so important because it could see them through to the final week of Big Brother for $250,000, Fitzy. Absolutely. And there's a few people in there that haven't even got to the uh, grand final, or into the finals of Friday Night Live tonight, so there'll be a few housemates that are fired up to win. Absolutely. They're... Their pride is at stake. And Definitely. yeah, can you believe that? Just if they actually get nominated, save themselves, they get through to the last week. Free ride. A lot of money up for grabs. I love New York night tonight on Friday Night Live. So toast a bagel and Central Park yourself on the couch because oh, it's time to see who <laughs> will win. your spy using only your mouths. Banana love! It was tongue! The ticking time bomb. Agents, prepare to race. And they remember the code. Is that right? Give yourselves a big hand. The final is Spy Snow. Cherry, you have won this hand and the Friday Night Games. <laughs> Wasn't it a 
a fantastic show last night. Handy victory for Cherry. All the slime and that kiss between Travis and Terry was just priceless. That was yeah, the brilliant. highlight it of was the series. Beautiful. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. I love New York. Night tonight, who are you tipping to be the winner, Brie? Well, Ben and Rory have their manhood at stake. They are the only housemates to never be, make it to the final round. Never! How embarrassing. Ben should be I trying was, to impress yeah. his lover. Especially when, you know, Terry and Travis are made it that far. Absolutely. Like I know, and they were the there. underdogs. But what I think, though, is, of course, absolutely irrelevant because we have Bryce Fitzberg to tell us. Oh. See, and last week he got all excited because he tipped, are you ready for it, the runner-up. Can I loser. T- yeah, the loser. <laughs> All right. Now, there's something that I found out. A lot of people don't know this. I went and caught up with Bryce the other day. We had a couple of beers and we were just talking about the end of the financial year and the Chappelle documentary and that. And I <laughs> said, as, as he was leaving, I said, hey, Bryce, what's going on with the winners, mate? You're not picking any winners. And he said... Fitzy, what are you talking about? I thought you wanted me to pick the losers every week. That's what he thought, kids. Yeah, this is without a word of a lie. It all makes sense now. And I said to him, mate, no, we want the winners, you idiot. So tonight he said, Fitzy, this is it. You're (laughs) going to find out who the winner is. Put your house on it. Here we go. Fitzburg here, a.k.a. Miami Brass. All right. Tonight is I Love New York. So my choice is obvious, as there is only one housemate that has that all-American quality. That's right. Americans like all things cherry. Cherry pie. Cherry cola. And that is why our cherry is ripe for the picking and the man to look out for tonight. All right. New York is super. He's been training, and he's so confident that he's been training others. He's pumped up, and he's ready to go. Like a true New Yorker, he doesn't lack self-confidence. He likes to central park himself between the ladies, all right. And he never backs down from a big apple, making him our New York fireman with a heart of gold. And with a girl to impress, Cherry will show that he is the greatest American hero. So start spreading the news. He's winning tonight. Oh, yeah. He's going to back up last week because he's my cherry pie. Go, Cherry. All right. Yeah. Bryce Fitzberg sounding very pumped up. I'm marking that one down now, Cherry. That's it. He didn't know, Brie. He thought you had to pick losers. Now he's got the... Simple. I cherry just had a Cherry. 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 Yeah. cherry. Yeah. Well, the gangs in New York are getting set for a rumble in the Bronx. Let's get down to the arena to watch this West Side story unfold. This is Big Brother. The first round is the Big Brit, Big Yellow taxi ride. Rory, Travis, Bridget and Bianca. On the buzzer, drive your taxi through some of Manhattan's most famous landmarks. Start by making your way across the Hudson River, over the Brooklyn Bridge, crash through Wall Street, cross Times Square, cruise through downtown and finish by doing one complete lap of the Statue of Liberty, ending on the red zone. When you see a ninja wave the flag, you must shout, I love New York, and your time will stop. Blindfolded housemates must make loud honking noises for the duration of the game, or risk a time penalty. Housemates, start the meter, go on the buzzer. This is so slippery in there, and then once they get off here, there's canvas on the ground, it's even slipperier. Yes. Now let's listen to Rory and Travis, because they have to yell out honk, honk the whole time. Forward, 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 step. Rory, you are not honking. <laughs> you must be honking. Listen to Travis. This is great. Over the Brooklyn Bridge. Travis's honk doesn't sound like a honk. It sounds like a bell on a bicycle. (laughs) 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 
Geez, they're not going very quick, are they? No, not very good at all. Now, a lot at stake here. This is where they crash Wall Street. This is what they call a cab charge. <laughs> See you later, Fitzy. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> Book it back. Rory, big brother cannot hear your honking. <laughs> Big brother's messing with you, Rory. I think Travis is just too loud. He <laughs> can't hear anything else. Look out for the buildings downtown. Oh! This is how Bree drives. Oi! I'm a good driver. Come on, they've got to do it for them. Bridget is blowing up. Let's listen to Bridget down there. For some reason, I can't imagine Bridget being a good driver. I wouldn't let her go near my car. I wonder if Bianca's going to start screaming at them, telling you she'll never speak to them again if they don't get it. There they go. Cross the line. You've got to do a lap. That was, half a lap. That was hopeless. <laughs> Rory, Travis, Bridget and Bianca, your taxi eventually made it through Manhattan in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Cherry, Ben, Alice and Terry, this is your time to beat. All housemates to the holding area. First game tonight on the show from Australian Idol, Kyle Risley's with us. Give us a car. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Great stuff. You must have been to New York sometime in your life, have you? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Um, but but hoping to go next year. That's uh, well, they love all the crooning, all those kind of songs. Yeah, it's, my that's, thing, well, but that's where I'll, a lot of it I'll comes go from. There and sing a bit of waltzing Matilda for them in jazz style. Yeah, good, yep. good work. That's on your, on new, your new CD, actually. We've got your One new CD we here, uh, The Rise. Who wants a copy? <laughs> I wish we were Oprah. We'd give one to everyone, but we've got a, a whole bucket load down here, so, so we'll be handing, handing them out. So how's the rest of the Idol gang? Are they all right? Yeah, really good, really good. I sort of um, hang out with a, with a few of them from time to time. And, Who are you hanging um, out with? I, uh, I spent a bit of time with Matt Corby the other week. And uh, we, we just went out for, for you know, for, for some bowling. Bowling with Matt Corby? Coffee, you know. Um, well, we just have a bit of fun and we try and catch up. I think we're all really busy trying to, um, you know, do something before the next series comes out. <laughs> so yeah. how are the housemates be feeling? You know what it's like, because you got to the finals in Idol towards the last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. So much is at stake. Mm. How, how does it feel when you get to the end of a show like that? Yeah, look, I, it's, it's difficult, you know. It, it gets more difficult as the time goes on, but... Um, you know, things like this, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and you've got, you got to sort of take it, you've got to do all you can with it and, and you know, just have a lot of fun, really. You've got to try and come out and, and, and make the best of it and see how you go. Oh, good on you, mate. Carl Risley, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out here tonight. New CD, The Rising Stores now.
Welcome back to Friday Night Live. It's I Love New York Night, and it's bigger than the Empire State Building. Speaking of big, one of the biggest competitions in the history of the universe is going on at the moment. Yes, it's the best dressed audience member. Wow, we got some good ones. Wow. Look at them out there. Looking fantastic. Oh, look, girls, there you are. Okay, giving out a couple of Kyle Risley CDs to this. Oh, these two looking characters. He was on stage in the commercial break, having a bite. He gets a kick me before. Yeah, there you go. Hey, that is a good Statue of Liberty. Declaration of Big Brother, because it's Independence Day. There's another one there. Look, going to a lot of effort. The Moon Monks. The Moon Monks. Look at the one on the right. Wow. We're going to keep you up until 2 a.m. this morning, and then you can win. Breathe, age. Oh, look. I think that bird does look smarter than Brian. Oh, my God. So many what? people are getting dressed What's... up on Friday night. How good is that? Is that Bianca? Yeah. No, that's Brie on holidays. Oh! <laughs> yeah, Fitzy on holidays. <laughs> well done to everyone that got dressed up. We love it. We love you doing this every week, but there can only be one winner every week. And a big congratulations to... Yay! This young lady. The winner. Isn't she beautiful? Can I ask a question? Congratulations, young lady. <laughs> Look at her go. What a champ. Congratulations. You won tickets to our grand final show and got into the draw to win a 26-inch LG look LCD at, TV. Have a look at the, the ninja next to her is about to knock her out. The <laughs> ninja, ninja man was about Not to knock around. her out. And Leave her take, alone, ninja. Take the prize. What did the pirate have to do with anything? Pirate? Uh, <laughs> we had pirate night last Ooh, year, didn't we? Last year, yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe you yeah. had the outfit in the cupboard and just thought, what the heck, I'm going to wear it out to the show. It <laughs> looks good. I'm going to wear it. Are we ready to play the game? <laughs> Team to run down the New York track. Let's get down to the arena. This is Big Brother. Cherry, Ben, Alice, and Terry. You will now compete in the big yellow taxi ride. Drive your taxis through Manhattan's famous landmarks in less than two minutes and 11 seconds to go through to the next round. Housemates, start your meter. Go on the buzzer. So much is at stake this week. The housemates desperately want to win. Two weeks till two hundred fifty thousand dollars will be won. We've got some huge games in store tonight. How do you reckon these guys will go, Bree? Good. I think they'll go really well. This actually looks safer than some of the cabs I've had in Sydney. <laughs> Scary. I got in a taxi in Brisbane and I said, can you take me to South Brisbane? And he's like, where's that? Oh. Just the other day. Two minutes 11 is the time to beat. Showing over hard. Brooklyn Bridge now. Over the Brooklyn Bridge. Are they yelling out honk? Alice and Terry are yelling out honk. Look at, look at Terry's blindfold. It covers up her whole face. Poor old dear. Crash of the stock market. Wall Street. Great effort. It's pretty much been happening lately, hasn't it? Stock market's falling to pieces. Open roof, that's what we should add. Open roof taxis. It might stop a bit of the smell coming in. Oh, look, that was a bit harsh. Sorry, Gordo. Up through Times Square. Get it? Time and the square. Terry and Alice. Big Brother can't hear your honking. Oh, didn't knock a building over. Oh, yeah. There goes a couple of buildings. One lap for Statue of Liberty. Think they're just ahead on time. Well known to our props department. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, they've done it easy. Then Alice Terry and Travis. Good run. <laughs> Rory, Travis, Bridget and Bianca. Your taxi crawled through Manhattan in 2 minutes and 11 seconds. <laughs> Cherry, Ben, Alice and Terry. You raced through the course in one minute and 28 seconds. Cherry, Ben, Alice and Terry, you have crashed into the next round. Rory, Travis, Bridget and Bianca. You will get a second chance to be back in tonight's games. All housemates to the holding area. Travis, Bridget and Bianca 
with a second chance. They are desperate to win tonight, Bree. Oh, they certainly are. It's very important, as we said. So to recap for you what's happening, Cherry, Ben, Alice and Terry are automatically through to the third round, which means that Bridget, Travis, Rory and Bianca will play next in a second chance draw. And let me tell you, stick around for it because it's hilarious. It is going to be down, but we've got so many cool games tonight. It's going to be a big one. Terence got evicted this week. Rima went back in. The housemates thought there was a mole, but there wasn't. They wrestled Holy in the garden. Moly. If you missed it, well, here's Jim with the news. I'm Jim Shorts, and here's the news this week. Week 10 in the Big Brother house, there's two weeks to go. Who will take out the prize? Nobody knows. Sunday eviction was Terrence who left. The housemates were happy their ears got a rest. Gave his money to Terry, he wants her to win. Gets her out of the combi and sends her back in. I am going to now reverse Nobby's hand grenade. Housemates had a party and danced on a pole. Rima came back in and said, there's a mole. I know who it is. This was her mission. She thought it was great. She made them very suspicious and speculate. Is it you? No. It's not like, oh, no. <laughs> is Bridget a scholar? Is Rory really a brickie? Is Travis a tough guy? Bianca felt sicky. Nominations time. Alice is saved by Cherry. Up for vote is Rory, Bianca, Travis and Terry. The mole saga continues. Who has been lying? They ask every question. They really are trying. Do you guys think that it could be me? Rima then leaves and says it's a lie. The house is left angry. They all want to cry. Terry says they shouldn't blame the sauce. Bianca's so cross she pushes the clothes horse. Wrestling task shows they're all tough in the ring. Silly disguises and very hard hitting. As for the flirting, there's sexual tension, holding hands and spooning, some too saucy to mention. So Rory's buried in sand, Cherry tries to hold hands, Ben's spooning is bad, Bianca gets mad, Travis is sappy, Bridget is happy, Cherry's cleaning at will, and Alice is still on the damn treadmill. Yes, that's the news, I'm Jim Shorts. Unless you're the tax man, and then I'm Marjorie Winterbottom. massive week and Bianca, Rory, Travis and Terry are all nominated this week Ooh. so it's going to be a great eviction uh, 6.30 on Sunday. Oh. Ben and Bianca spooning, is that just like a big non-event now? Oh, so she what? wants him so bad and he does not want a bar of not it. That's what it I seems to me anyway. I think he I was know. for a while but he's seen a side to her he yeah. just doesn't it's like. It's been the week of the meltdown for Bianca this I week. Because oh, I, I cannot understand. Alright, rima has gone in. Not a big, it's Big Brother has said go on in there and just stir it up and say that there's a mole but there isn't. Who cares if there I was? Know. She was actually saying that it was human torture and the compared pain. Compared it to terrorism. She, she compared it to terrorism. terrorism. What, they, what you put, put us through it, was it, like human torture. Yeah, the no, pain. that was actually Ben that said that. Ben started that. But so it was, a, a lot of the Honestly. other housemates were going on about it and saying how but, horrible you know, it was, but how's it was the real. irony of the situation? They were meant to find out who the mole was, but she just made herself look like a mole all it week, made, didn't she? It made Terry, really. Terry cry. It made Travis cry. It made Bridget abuse everyone and well, everyone. And how, it was so how, full on. how is what she said to... T um, she's just been so nasty this week. She said to Travis, open your head up, it's like a can of beep. I, I can't say that word. Nothing it's wrong with beep. I had a can of beep Bad for breakfast. Bad word for poo. <laughs> well, yeah, look, I, I would have loved... If there was a mole in the house when we had there, I would have stood up and Absolutely. applauded the person that would have been able to do it. But because these guys, it, re they really got, it really got to it. Clearly they haven't done anything to, mm. like, corrupt your time in there anyway because well, you haven't noticed. They're just we'll dramatic. have Terrence on the show very shortly and we'll be able to ask him what he thinks. He's been in the house. He knows how it would affect them. Stick around. More to come on Friday Night Live. <laughs> I hope I'm not the mole. Where were you on April 21st, 9pm? Is that your real hair colour? So much mole talk. Mole, 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 mole. Who do you think the mole is? I have no idea. Rory's got G-strings, man. He's a brickie. How many brickies do you know that have friggin' G-strings? Yeah. She spends a lot of time in that bloody diary room. She looks older than 18. Do you think someone could be in here that looks like one gender and isn't that gender? Were you considering me? No, nah, sorry, Travis. Why is no one considering <laughs> me to be the mole? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so you think it's me? Tell Rima who you think the mole is and why. Bridget. Bridgie. Bridget. Bridget the mole. Bridget. That was so good. Can I pick myself? I hope I'm not actually the mole and I forgot. Oh, oh Bridget. <laughs> Awesome. Nice work, Big Brother. You know, and by the way, nothing to do with Rima. It was Big Brother that said, oh, OK, can you please go into the house and tell everyone there's a mole? And let me tell you, if anyone else was asked to do that, if Bianca got kicked out of the house and then they said, we'll let you go back in for three days, can you do this for us? She would have done it for sure Absolutely. to stir up the house. And, like, Bianca, I'm never speaking to her again and, like, saying all these horrible things about Rima. Bianca, I just don't get it. Bianca is one of the few housemates that we've had over the years that says what she thinks, speaks her mind. I think mm. she's a brilliant housemate. Mm. Uh, you cried and you sent all the girls mental so I think I think if she's I here next too. week I hope you guys are going to say exactly what you've said about her in the last break well Bianca yeah she will go nuts we were dancing with the kids I'm telling you, she overreacted with the whole thing Absolutely. and I'll tell her she overreacted right. for sure. she was in, front of, in front of Pamela Anderson oh, we have a go no not in front of Pamela <laughs> Anderson I might overreact when she comes out but I'm not going to overreact when What's her name comes out, Bianca? What's her uh, name? We'll see. It's 4th of July and we're celebrating in true Yankee style. We've got apple pies, fireworks and a budget that would bring Wall Street to its knees in fits of laughter. Speaking of fits of laughter, it's time for... To crap on the Daily Show. To crap on the Daily Show. It's 11am in the Big Brother house. Ready? Actually. I actually thought that was good. I like that. <laughs> Hot dog baseball. And not actually as two separate things, but together. That's coming up. Also, golf buggies, big apples, some incredible games. The eliminated housemates are about to get a second chance, so let's get off Broadway and get down to the arena. This is Big Brother. Welcome to Broadway. Yeah. Eliminated housemates must audition for a part in a Broadway play well enough to impress any cynical New York theatre critic. The best two will win a place back into tonight's games. <laughs> Bianca, step up to the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca, you are auditioning for the part of Luigi. Here is your scenario. You are a chef in one of Little Italy's top family restaurants. You have just come out of your hot kitchen to talk to a disgruntled customer who doesn't like your world-famous family recipe meatballs. You are confused and upset. Your 30-second audition starts on the buzzer. You know what? You say you find one head, I say you find the five. You know what? I take off and put in your meal. You don't like it, mommy, give me my recipe. You want some? You want some free pasta? Would you like some free pasta? I give you free pasta. You want free pasta? I don't know how much I can do for you. I go all day. I give you everything. What you do? You don't respect. You don't respect me. I don't like you. I don't like you. Get out of my restaurant. You don't tell your friends. They don't come here anymore. I don't like it. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like your friends. You never come here. She'd be good at that. <laughs> Going off a tree. Bianca, move to the red zone. Red zone. Sound like you're dead. The red zone. Travis, step up to the stage now. <laughs> Travis, you are auditioning for the part of Jeff. Here is your scenario. Set in Central Park, tonight is the night you will propose to your girlfriend, Doris. In order for you to get the part, this must be the most romantic, heartfelt proposal the judges have ever seen. You are head over heels and very emotional. Your 30-second audition starts on the buzzer. Doris! Oh, Doris! No. Oh, my God! Who said he had to see my life? You are like the candle in my wick. I would like you to feel my apples. You, Doris, are the only one for me. Yes, you, Doris. I don't know. <laughs> 
I think I'm in love. Thank you, Travis. Was that you surprised? auditioned beautifully in song for a non-musical part. Move to the red zone. Sounded like Pamarotti. Rory, step up to the stage now. Travis has put some uh, little funky stripes in his hair. Did you see that? Shaved in some blades. Or is that just left over from uh, the haircut he had? No. Rory, you are auditioning for the part of Frankie Chuckles. Here is your scenario. Jerry Seinfeld and Eddie Murphy are looking for an up-and-coming stand-up comedian to tour with. In order to get the part, you need to have the judges in stitches with your hilarious gags. Your 30-second stand-up comedy audition starts on the buzzer. Hey, you going, guys? Uh, my name's... Uh, well, I can't even remember what my name is. How about that? Eh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find the uh, funniest spot of the stage. Jesus, I suck at this, don't I? Um, <clears throat> why did the chicken cross the road? Why? He didn't. He got stuck. What's he doing? He made pants. Get a chicken down his arm crack. <laughs> <laughs> was, now that's comedy. It was actually funnier than us, though, I reckon. <laughs> Not hard. <laughs> I love her. It was hilarious. Bridget, step up to the stage now. Go on, Bridget. <laughs> Bridget, you are auditioning for the part of Bronco, the singing cowboy. This part is for a musical. Here is your scenario. Set in the Wild West, you are challenging a gunslinging rival to a showdown at high noon. Your 30-second audition starts on the buzzer. Bridget, if you were auditioning for a Japanese cowboy musical, that would have been perfect. <laughs> housemates, the casting is complete. The two housemates who impressed the critics the most are Travis and Bianca. You are back in tonight's games. Bridget and Rory, it's back to waiting tables for you. All housemates to the holding area. I'm not sure whose voice hurt my ears more, Travis or Bridget's. Oh. I tell you what, Carl Risley better watch out. He's got some competition there with Bridget. <laughs> hey, tell me this. As much as Bridget can be a real nasty little thing when she wants to be, she's so entertaining. She is, and she's got a massive fan base out there. Do you think she could win Big Brother? Yes, out there. But, you know, this, this is actually probably a good time to mention it because it's not about who is the most popular person. No. It's, it's who you don't like. So if you love someone and you want them to win Big Brother, you've got to vote the others off. Mm. So don't let someone fly under the radar and win. I'm sorry, you've got a question from the audience, yes? Terry. Yes. Terry. Oh, Te Terry. 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 Oh, Terry could win. Does that mean they love her or they really? hate her? Well, we'll see. It's going to be a close one, that's for sure. After the break, the latest to Vic D. Terrence will tell us what he thinks right here on this very stage. So get your earplugs ready. This is Friday Night Live. Give me a ticket for an airplane. I ain't got time to take no fast train. Yeah. 
Terrence, you will not be competing in the games this evening. Make yourself comfortable. Terrence, you are unable to compete. Move to your front row seat now. Terrence, move to the cone of silence now. Sit down there, buddy. What's this funny bit? How you doing? Good to see you. Well, I've never been better. Welcome to Friday Night Live. How's your week been? You got some new sponsors? Maybe Depend Underpants or Oi. maybe no, some denture cream or what's going on? Hey, he's only like no, ten he... years older than you, <laughs> Mark. No, <that's laughs> Look at that. They make clearer yeah. sealer after me. No, can I, no, no, can I, one of the best experiences you've ever done, Ter uh, Terence, in your life is this going into Big Brother? Oh, mate, this is. I lived my absolute dream oh, of my life. That's. I nice. lived my dream. How your family handled it? What did they yeah, say? Yeah. What did your son think? I'm really curious to see what they said to you when you finally got to talk to them. Um, well, Michael said, I'm so proud, Dad. Yep. Um, uh, Luke, when I'm so Luke said, I love you, I love you. Um, can I have the phone? <laughs> <laughs> and the other one said, hey, Dad, it was so cool. My mate said, oh, they, hey, we saw your <laughs> dick on <laughs> okay. Where do we go from that? I don't know. Where do you yes. go from there? This is the first time. A housemate ever got beeped. Nice. It's the first time we've had that word on the show. That's great, Terence. Hey, let me say that. When, when I was hosting the uh, eviction <laughs> show, and, and that was actually same night that you went in yep. to the Big Brother house, you said that you were going to stir things up, and you went in there, and you, you told really long-winded, boring stories, and you and you, you got stuck into the housemates. You gave them a piece of your mind. It's what you said you were going to do. Absolutely. And I applaud you for that, and I think you're a great housemate. Absolutely. Thank and you. I think you got a really rough trot on Monday night, and I think you handled yourself very well and didn't deserve quite all that. Uh, so don't worry well about done it. to uh, you. Bring it on. I can take whatever they bring. Yeah. All right, they... we're going to start oh, being nothing. Well, please, <laughs> will you please welcome Bridget's father. No, Terry. Yeah, 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 no, um, no, no. And don't special... tell me the Einsteins are back. Yeah. And special guest Rebecca Wilson. Yeah, here Rebecca. she goes. No, can I say... She and was, a boxing you, you ring. Did, I mean, there was a few of the housemates did get a little bit sick of you in the house, but you did make some friends in there. And, and your goodbye message, even with Ben, you know, you got a bit emotional when you spoke Very about much. Ben. I mean, yep. you, you, you had a bit of a connection with that young fellow, didn't you? Well, it was, yeah, because he was the closest to the age of my sons. Yep. And I really missed my boys. Yes. And um, he actually came to me... And you don't know what's seen on TV, mm, but mm. he had a bit few issues, and he has wonderful parents. Mm, yep. But back in his uh, younger days, he still carried things that he thought his parents were rough on. Yep. So I, uh, he thanked me f and came oh, and said, nice. "I reckon." You're a father figure. Yep. Well, you know, oh. sometimes, I'm the figure. sometimes it's very strange when you get out of the Big Brother house. That you know, when you watch yourself back, it's in different situations. We actually have some exclusive footage here yeah, to FNL, no never this. before seen, of a fight that you had with a very popular housemate. Yeah, Take a look. Full on. You have called me a liar, and so I'm prepared to, I'm just praying to God that they put that on TV, because you defamed me on, on national television, you t said I was lying through my back teeth, and I'm a liar. You are smarter than you are portraying in here, and you are playing a game, you are the game player in here, I don't give a stuff whether I win this or not. What that says to me is, you're playing the game. You treat me civilly, fine. You want to take me on, take me on. I think you were bullying her. No, you, you I, 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 I found, it a, very, I found it a very moving experience. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't milk it anymore. Oh, no. exactly. oh. Now, I, t I know one thing that you're feeling very, very strongly about is... Who's going to take out this competition? Yeah. I know there's one woman that you really, really want to win this whole competition, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, I want Terry to win. Yep. Absolutely. Why? Why? Uh, the reason I want Terry to win is that she is an excellent citizen of Australia. Yep. Yep. Isn't it funny, like in the beginning everyone assumed she was going to be this horrible woman and it's turned around in like the last three or four weeks I'm hearing such positive things about her when really she wasn't that liked in the beginning. Yeah, but she owes me 50 grand if she wins <laughs> because, she, because they thought, no, we'd sooner her than him. Well, it's, it's going to be very close. There's a lot of contenders for the money this year. Anybody hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Not after you see this. Let's get back to the arena. This is Big Brother. 
The next round is the hot dog home run. Cherry and Travis, you are the chefs. Bianca, you are the hot dog. <laughs> chefs, on the buzzer, you must roll your sausage to each baseball base and cover them with the ingredients. At first base, ketchup. At second base, <laughs> mustard. Once at third base, you must lay your sausage in the bun. Cover it with chili and collect onion rings from the center of the field and lay them on top. Then roll your hot dog to fourth base to complete your home run. Chefs do not cut corners. Every ingredient must be evenly spread over your hot dog. Your time will not stop until Big Brother is satisfied. Housemates, your time will start on the buzzer. Here we go. Get your hot dog! Bianca's got a couple of speed bumps there. Oh, my God. I reckon they're taking out some aggression they had She'll on her earlier. She'll give it a shot. Oh. She'll give it a shot for flat oh, oh, hey. <laughs> You can't have a hot dog without a bit of dead horse. Looks like a crime scene. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. A bit of Barbie sauce. Is that mustard? <laughs> <laughs> Bianca is the hot dog, and they're rolling her to the roll. In case you wondered what was going on. Oh, and this is a bad camera shot. Oh, a bit of mustard. I've always reckoned she was a bit saucy, Bianca. Oh. <laughs> it keep them coming. That's how we. That's how we roll hey, here, Terry Terence. You're really wacky <laughs> jokes. We should employ you as a yeah. writer. We like those as well. You must okay. face upwards we in your We might get better ratings. Well done. They got to strap her into the hot dog now. Oh, there's a few onion rings. Oh, Some onions mate. in there. I'm not doing the onion joke. Go on. <laughs> no way. Please. That's it. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> Look at Cherry. Look how competitive Cherry is. He wants to win it again. Hey, mate, he wants to win so bad. Hey, man. He's into it. Well done. That was a good try. Nice work. <laughs> I'd still eat that hot dog. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Cherry, Travis and Bianca, you hot dogged your way to home base in one minute and nine seconds. Ben, Alice and Terry, this is your time to beat all housemates to the holding area. Bianca's going to have to get to the mirror pretty quick. Ben, Alice and Terry, next round, will they go any better? Do they want to win more, Terence? Oh, man. Ben, who's up next? Ben, Alice We've and Terry. We've got Ben, Alice and Terry up and next. And Terry. Well, Benny, I'd like to see him win. Yep. He hasn't won yet. No. Nope. two favourites on the one team, Ben ah, and Terry. Ah, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, Tez is a good girl and uh, Benny needs to win and he's not going to get he's on with Bianca. He's never made it to the final round. Yeah. How embarrassing. He's, right, sa he's saving himself, but just, he's, he's just, not going to get on with Bianca. Just quickly, Benny and Bianca, what is nah. that relationship? Terry, not you're in the house. Years. Bianca's trying to save herself because she knows she's gone for all money this week, so she's trying to hook up with someone. You reckon? Whoa. From the house. That's a new theory. Okay, Absolutely. Hey, good news for us. Uh, after Friday Night Live finishes in about two weeks' time, we've still got a job because Friday yeah. Night Download is back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're stuck this with us every Friday for the rest of your life. This, Terence, is a show that pretty much gives you the best picks of the web. I hope they're having some others. Oh. Uh, there you go. Have some oh. of that. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, okay. It's that? the best stacks. The best cacks, <laughs> the incredible, the dreadful. Here's actually a video Fitzy sent in of himself at the zoo. Oh. <laughs> Fitzy. <laughs> Look, I was thirsty, all right? I was thirsty. Mon hey, mate, Mon that's the rangers they were talking about. <laughs> Monkey magic. No, this is what Mike does all the time to try and impress Stop. women. This is I how he picked up. His fiance. Gotta, I do not. You, you gotta wet the mouth sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, it's stop it. thirsty. Having a hey, let me tell tea. you, this year we want you guys to start making your own clips this and upload them sinking. to our website. What do you mean? No, it's not. This chair is sinking. <laughs> I can't. That's. You gotta get What do you mean? Chairs. It's not sinking the at all. Keep going. Yeah, there so as I was saying, That'll upload leave. your clips to our website and we'd right, love that's to see better. them. This year, it's your chance to take part by sending in your funniest clips to 10.com.au slash FND. We, that's we your have address some right massive there. prizes, massive prizes for you this year. So grab your camera and start shooting. You can win big. So, uh, yeah, we've got some massive prizes for you. This prizes! Year. We love prizes. Who wants prizes? Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have Carl Rice 
Lovely. We got those CDs. We'll give them away to the audience in a sec. After the break, we have more hot dogs than a Darwin pet shop. But first, Travis and his crazy sleep talking. Mumsy! You were talking in your sleep again last night. Was I? Oh. What was I, I saying? I know what you were saying. The legs are so fetish. Captain, Astro, Astro Stan. Hey, Mark. Where is it? Astro Stan. Oh, good job, Alice. You're, you're possibly steep. Let's get ready to fumble! Ben, you are the prosecutor. The Iron Maiden. Blondzilla. Terminator <laughs> Cherry Bomb <laughs> The Roaring Lion <laughs> Captain Possumistic <laughs> Naughty Nana having a go at peg face. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. If you're in a New York state of mind, you've come to the right place. I love New York night tonight on Friday Night Live. And peg fans rejoice, it's time for... The most inappropriate place to play peg face. Oh, <laughs> they sang in yes, the audience. They sang it, they love it. That was the cute. entries keep coming in, we love them. Have a look at this. 10 pin bowling peg face. Oh, look at that. See, that's that's dangerous. That's a strike. That's Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, walking and, the dog. And please don't send yeah. in any more photos of pegs on animals. There's those, none on that yeah, animal there. Yeah, that's no, yo-yo there, yeah. Frizzy. Those dogs aren't real, they're stuffed. And uh, these girls, uh, I believe they... Uh, Baker's Delight. From Baker's Delight. The Baker's Delight girls. They didn't send us any free hot cross buns, though. What's going on? It's not Easter. Well, they might have some <laughs> left over. OK, and there's a girl on the trampoline playing peg face. Very oh, good. A bit dangerous. On, on the Barbie doll. Oh, Barbie. <laughs> I think she's Flexible stuck. Barbie. Yes. I, I heard Ken put them there. Oh, oh, peg Barbie. She took his house. <laughs> On the airplane, on the, on the airplane. Oh, These guys were actually on the way back from FNL. They were at FNL last week. They flew all the way here to come oh. to the show. Legends. And last but not least, on the clothes line. Oh, oh. The kids are hanging off. That's good. That's how Mum washes the clothes. She just hoses yeah. down the kids. Well, the kids have been hanging around me all week too. Pegs yeah. them on the line. <laughs> nice work. Let's hear for everyone who sent in their peg face pictures. And congratulations to the last one. We'll send you out an FNL prize pack. <laughs> Maybe we'll stick some of Bree's eye candies in them as well. Yeah. Hey, look at these guys. How good are they? Let's hear for everyone in the audience. Pegging their faces. Thanks, guys. Nice work. Well done, good on. Let's hear from them. Give them a round of applause. Good work. Send your photos to fnl at bigbrother.com.au. Let's get back to the games. Back to the arena. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Ben, Alice and Terry. To go through to the next round, you must complete your hot dog home run in less than one minute and nine seconds. Well, we Chefs, remember you must use all the ingredients and distribute them evenly over your hot dog. Alice, your time will start on the buzzer. Look at Alice. She's fit. She's been on that treadmill all week. Now it's easier to roll than the anchor. Get the gimister. Get the dead horse. Oh, Terry, look out. Chefs, look at the you must Alice. cover your hot dog. Barbie, come on, Remember the comments we had in the combi. 
One minute and nine seconds to time to beat. I need the muscle. I just remember you farting your guts up in the tent. That was her. They didn't have sleeping bag cam. It was her every time. Oh, it's stank in there, Terence. Well done, Ben. No way, mate. Get sleeping bag cam and I'll bleed you. End of the round. I tell you what, she's hot, but she's not a dog. <laughs> Keep going, Alex. House mates, Big Brother likes more onion on his hot dog. Oh. More onion. More onion, what? Big Brother's going to have bad breath Damn later. Big Brother, Big Brother does have bad Can you smell it in the diary? <laughs> Through the camera, it's that bad. Guys, this is going to be close. Rolls, here we go. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Ben, Alice and Terry. You needed to hit a home run in less than one minute and nine seconds. You took one minute and 14 seconds. Bianca, Cherry, Travis, you are through to the next round. Alice, Ben, you are out of tonight's games. All housemates to the holding area. I think they'll relish this moment. Oh, oh thanks, oh, please. please. That is Travis great. never gets excited, mate. I, I, I cool. have to keep your hands above the table. We'll do the entertaining. Uh, Terry, oh, Terry, actually, no. what happened there in Terry's team? She got. Uh, not it didn't get enough onion rings. The other team got more than three, so they had to go back and get some more. Oh. Hey, and can that I was part say, of the rules. Oh, I was going to say Professor Fitz and stuff. <laughs> Bryce, Bryce Fitzberg is still in the game. Yeah, oh. Cherry is still in there. I told you, he thought that he was picking oh. losers. The winners He's tonight go, Cherry. Confused all this time. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? It's, well, it's thought it. Oh, we, we know. Yeah, it's we just know. A stupid it's thing just a we say. silly joke. Or Don't lecture us, Terry. Yeah, right. what? Well, it might be thunk You're not in the house anymore. He's, Stop it. He's trying Listen, to be smarter you young than Brie Amor already. <laughs> You'll stand right, in you the win. corner. All okay, right. anyone who's ever attempted a parallel park will love this next game. Don't oh. go anywhere. Take it away, Carl. <laughs> the cameras are on in that he's just over the top no, that's that's not in your sleep that's I was ridiculous. a sleep talker I was a sleep but talker not, not like, wasn't ah, I fit okay. oh, no oh, I was oh. I used to yell didn't I fit yeah, yeah, you did. really yeah, yeah you can't I'm just really glad that someone else is a bigger freak as me no he doesn't no no I'm sleep I slept just about a metre from him and it all of a sudden in the middle of the night comes out with this weird yeah but you, weird. it was coming out it was coming out your ass Terrence yeah, in, no, in the comedy hey. They no, did not have sleeping bag cam. It was her every time. Oh, mate. I was brain. Oh, yeah. You were blowing off left, right, and centre in that <laughs> combi. Poor Dutch Terry. Oh, Welcome Terry. back to I Love New York Night on Friday Night Live, the only show on TV that already comes super sized. Pamela Anderson on the show. Terence, you must be absolutely devastated. You're not in the house to meet cry, her. Cry, cry. No, I reckon she's spewing missing meat and me. <laughs> <laughs> because have you we, know she was going to live in the combi with you as well. Look, oh, have well. We, have we got any footage of Pamela Anderson just to oh. show you kids out there that don't know what not she's like? This is Whoa. Pamela Anderson here. She's a great actress. Some people there she is there. Uh, look, see, look at that. The the people people stand the the Bring the stand to the darkness. Bring the to the light. Not interesting. Now, Terence, what I do want to ask you is, 
Did you see that properly? Can we see it again? Can we have Pamela oh, Anderson again? You love Pamela. Look at him with his little school it. There it is again. Oh, well done. Oh, okay. Oh. You know what's funny? Isn't and she beautiful? Brie Aimer actually knows the whole jingle. Sing okay. it, Brie. Some people stand in the darkness. Some are afraid to step into the light. Keep going. And some people need to help somebody. <laughs> Telling me, Brie was telling me she used to get up at three o'clock in the morning because she had no friends and she's such a loser to watch Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was on Foxtel at three a.m. and I used to stay up to watch it. Don't worry, Don't. I used to watch it every I day. I can't as believe well. they're letting someone in the Big Brother house with silicon breasts. I can't believe that Brie just plugged cable TV. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Terence, you, you were the second oldest housemate in the Big Brother house. Do you think you were smarter than all of the other housemates? <laughs> oh, all put together, mate. No risk. OK, well, right now, oh, it's time to prove how smart you really are in a little game we like to call... Are you smarter than Brie Aimer? Are you smarter than Brie Aimer? I think now, I've already proved this I'm tonight. not answering any questions at all, no, so at least Brie can look smart. I'm on strike. Mike just showed Terence the answers he in the ad break and actually, I caught uh, him. Actually, uh, Brie, I've just been handed something from Big Brother. You did not. Um, Brie has lost Are You Smarter Than Brie Aimer for mentioning cable. Oh, congratulations, Terry. Thank you. You are smarter than Brie Aimer. Smarter than Brie Aimer. <laughs> Can I bring it on? No, 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 okay, we'll do it properly. Okay, Brie, Brie, your buzzer will be I love New York. I love New York. And Terence, your buzzer will be Taxi. Yep, Taxi! T test your buzzers. I love New York. Test taxi! Your you lose. Test your buzzers. I love taxi. New York. Okay, cool. Uh, now, Brie, I will be I will be honest. I, I was going to cheat, but I, I went to show Terence the question, but he doesn't have his glasses, so See, he, can get he does that I'm every week honest. and I'm I being still honest. win. Okay, first question. The New York Knicks play what sport? Taxi! Oh. Terence. Basketball. Yes, that's right. Oh, one that's Terrence. the one that you told him. I heard no, that answer. Not, no. That's okay. the one that what you told him. What does NYPD Taxi! Do? Terence. New York. NYPD. Police department. Yes, that's oh, right. Spirits. Spirits. Okay. <laughs> Name New York's two major league baseball teams. I love New York. Taxi. Oh, oh, I don't know. Just, just, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Terrence. Come on, I'm thinking. Terrence. The Yankees and the Dodgers. Uh, no, major league baseball. Yeah. Okay. Um, Yankees and the... Yankees chance, and Brie. the Mets. The Mets is right. I'll give it one to Bree. Yeah. Two, one. Okay. <laughs> Three, okay, first to three. It's 2-1. Terence is in the lead. No, no, look, this... Bree's lost because the spotlight's gone off. I'm sitting in the dark. <laughs> oh, Bree. Come over here. Come over here and play in the spotlight. <laughs> Clean in, that's it. Okay. The Statue of Liberty was a present to New York. Oh, from yes. the... I got it, I got it, I got it! Who, yes. Shut up! Who, who, who was that? Was it Bree? It Terrence, was me. Or was it Terence? It was me! It was me! Okay, Bree, 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 Bree. Okay, two yes, all. Oh. Scores are tied. Two they, all. They received this it in This could letter. be the decider. Yep. What actress starred in Breakfast at Tiffany? Taxi! Terence. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn is right. Yes. Congratulations, Terence. You are... You are smarter than Brie Aimer. So no, I look... I know. Oh, I know. I should have won. Era. I heard him give you the basketball one. No. It was from my era. It was from his era. You know, yeah. that's the way it I goes. I can't help it, I'm Bree, only 25. Sorry. Yeah, and you're blonde and not very smart. Let's get down to the arena where the name Central Park is about to take on a different meaning for the semi finalists. I love you, Brie. This is Big Brother, Bianca, Cherry, and Travis. Welcome to Central Park. <laughs> you will each attempt to parallel park a golf buggy. Your time will stop when your buggy is completely within the white lines. The two housemates who park their buggy in the fastest time will be through to tonight's final. You will receive a five second time penalty each time you bump your buggy. Cherry, move to the golf buggy now.
put it in there gear, Terry. Parallel part. This is very hard. We tried this today in rehearsals. Now, Terence, can I ask you, there's a rumour going around that you actually get your mum to reverse park for you. Is that correct? Hey, mate, oh, I, I, get, I get excited if I park in a tight space now. Oh, look, I got told oh, she, but it was it's actually... Hey, mate, if Bridget was driving this, she'd put it in half a race. I tell you what, I'd be really good at this. I am the best reverse parker in the world. I will prove it after the show. We will go and I will park. I'd back Cherry if he had a jet ski. I don't know about a car. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not easy. It is a real tight space there. Yeah. He's doing well. I don't think he's tough anything right, at all. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Cherry, you parked your buggy in 43 seconds. Move to the red zone. Ninja, reset the buggy. Evil Knievel! Who's this? Evil Kaninja! Ninja. That's great. Have a look out. Oh, he got it out in one foul swoop. He didn't do too bad there, Cherry, actually. Thanks to Fitzy for lending his outfit to the Ninja. Well done, Ninja. Look at that. Wow, that's his whole job. Travis, move to the golf buggy now. <laughs> oh, no, this is going to be funny. Yeah, can I get this right? Travis's car's got a name. <laughs> what is it? I can't, uh, Everyone's car has a name. Angus. Prepare to park. Yeah. Angus. Oh, why would you call your car Angus? <laughs> Go, Travi. <laughs> Travis. Come on, Travis. Oh, already got the, got the curve there. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> How do you store an electric car? <laughs> Five Travis. seconds for everything he Come on, be positive, Mr. Travis. Try again. Oh, no. What is he doing? Five seconds for everything you hit. Can you imagine driving in a car with Travis? That's a pretty cool golf buggy. This is unbelievable. Travis has had two dogs and a parrot in his car everywhere he ran around. And then the yeah, it. Travis actually took three years to get through his logbook. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God! He turned. He turned. He turned. He turned. He turned. He must have learned to park from Bree. Oi! I'm very good at this. He's going to get him stuck on the curb. I think one of the ninjas getting him a parking ticket. I worked so hard on him at that when I was in the house too. He, uh, he still drives better than Mark Webber. You're on the car. You're on the car, dude. Just pick it up, pick the, get out and pick the buggy up. Travis, a well-parked buggy should never be up on the curb. <laughs> Continue parking. Continue parking. Let's hope Travis doesn't oh, win a no. car. Yeah, imagine if you won a car, it'd be history, wouldn't it? Isn't it illegal to park in front of a fire hydrant? Yes. In the mailbox? This is going to be close Just between him and Jerry. Oh, no. This is not so good. Every time he hits something, five seconds is added to the score. I think he's up to two hours. Oh, Ginger Ninja. But that's Travis. That is exactly Travis. Do a boot out. He wants him to do a boot out. <laughs> uh, I think he's given up. Do we need the hooter? Yay! That's how I got my license, baby. <laughs> Where do Can I mention him as a driving instructor. <laughs> Travis is driving school. Sydney licenses must be so devilish. <laughs> yeah. Where so I got bad. my license? You're not driving by you, man. <laughs> it's easier to drive a normal car than this. Last one, please. Really appreciate it. Do it for Queensland. Travis, you parked your buggy in the loosest sense of the word in two minutes and twelve seconds. Yay! However, as you bumped your buggy into the curb three times, hit the car in front once, and somehow hit the hydrant. You have incurred many time penalties. Ten seconds will be added for the hydrant and ten seconds for the ninja's assistance after you somehow bogged your buggy on the sidewalk. 
<laughs> Your overall time is two minutes and 42 seconds. Move to the red zone. Ninja, best of luck resetting the buggy. Okay, Terence, we're talking about the next player now, buddy. <laughs> Who's this? Bianca. Bianca, move to the golf buggy now. Are the headlights on? Oh, <laughs> oh no. You've been on fire tonight. <laughs> Prepare We've got to get part. you on every week. Come on, Bianca. Ace hey, is going to crack the sands if she loses. <laughs> Well, I don't even know if she does have her license. She's 18, but whether she's got it or not... Let's just hope she doesn't drive as aggressive as what she has been this week or we're in trouble. Why did I get given the wrong car? <laughs> it's not fair! There she goes, she got it in reverse. Yeah, Taking we'll get, it very on, seriously. We'll get it in there. A lot is at stake this week. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get. Imagine it's a ball of pass the Bianca and drop it straight in. <laughs> If Bianca, if Bianca doesn't get evicted this week, she might actually m need the um, a, eviction twist. Forgot you know, she's been a bit nasty this week, so it might come in handy for her in case she gets nominated. She's, mm. she's trying to follow the I've lines the of spaghetti. You can do it. You're in neutral. Why are you not going? You're in neutral. Oh, there's no mirror in the car. That's why she's bucket. She can't do it. Travis could get through. <laughs> She's no Oh, no. It's a lack of a mirror. Not looking good. No. That's what's done. I know mirror in the car. Oh, oh. oh that's pretty close. She, 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 hasn't, she hasn't got any parking sense. Is that at help? She's doing all right here. Can she get in? She's nearly in the line. Oh, the line. You just got to worry about your back wheel, girl. Oh, yep. She's That's doing well. Yeah. Only a little bit more. She's in. No. She's done. She's done. I don't, I don't think she's hit the curb yeah. or anything. She's got, she's got it. Nice work. Chuck yeah. one up for the ladies. <laughs> Good job, Bianca, <laughs> move to the red zone now. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> My That's bad, pretty good laughing. Queensland. Bianca, you parked your buggy <laughs> in one minute and 47 seconds. However, as you bumped your buggy into the curb once, you have incurred a time penalty. Your overall time is one minute and 52 seconds. Oh. Cherry and Bianca, you are through to tonight's final. Travis, you are out of tonight's games. All housemates to the holding area. I think Travis needs a little bit of uh, car park training, car parking oh, training. He's I'm hopeless, never he? getting in a car with him. So who do you think is going to win tonight? Out of the, what we got left? Who have we got left? Who have we got left? We have Bianca and Cherry. That's the only two. That's it. Well, it's well, like, probably Cherry. The Andrew Cherry. It depends what, it, what, the, uh, what the task is. And uh, what's next for you? Are you going to stick to your auctioneering or are you going to pursue a career in TV and maybe do a zoo shoot? What's next? Well, mate, I, I, I thought zoo would have contacted me already, but I haven't heard that. But uh, I'm very loyal to my clients, but I never say never. Oh, good okay, on you, Terrence. Good on you, good Thanks luck. for joining us, buddy. But before you go, will you tell us how the West Perth football team are going this year? Well, I'll tell you about West Perth. Now, it's very important. West Perth play Subiaco tomorrow. We're sitting fifth on the ladder. Right, okay. out of percent, just out of the four on percentage. Yep. You've got to get Cannot. to the arena joondle up. Cannot. Tomorrow, support the Falcons. Yep. I can't be there. Get there. Get them across okay. the line. Can up the Falcons. Yep. Don't Back go into anywhere. the four. The finals Sorry. are coming. Don't go anywhere because Cherry and Bianca are up next in the final. This is Friday Night Live.
mate. It's, I love New York night. Bianca and Cherry are in tonight's final. It is going to be big. Who thinks Bianca's going to win? Oh, oh. Oh. Not one. Okay. Who thinks that Bryce Fitzberg is right and Cherry will win tonight? Cherry fans out there, a lot of Cherry fans out there. Well, we'll see. And you know, I think Bree brought up a very important point earlier. What was that? <laughs> the fact that Bianca has been stirring up so much trouble in the house this Absolutely. week, and, and she, she could be voted out on Sunday, but she could save herself because of Friday Night Live. That is the well, power she can't of this show. Save herself this Sunday, but you know, like if she oh, manages, week, if she, she stays in, through. yeah, if she stays in this week, and then you know, she may get nominated for her behaviour this week. Mm. And if she does get evicted and wins, then she leaves the house with the power, whereas Cherry's not nominated. So who knows? And she will use it outside the house. Well, Bronx, mm. your zoo, and Coney, your island. You can even Brooklyn, your bridge, because it's final time. Let's get to the arena. This is Bogota. The final round is the Big Apple race. So Dressed cute. as caterpillars, you must wiggle your way to victory. You must go up and over Madison Square Garden, through the Big Apple and across Central Park to the finish line. The first housemate to reach the finish line is tonight's winner. You must remain on your stomach at all times. Caterpillars, prepare to compete. And we're away to the last game of Friday Night Live. So this is like the old sleeping bag races that you used to play when you were a kid. Right, so that's Madison Square Garden. True Madison Square Terry, Garden. Terry's got a clear lead here. Terry! Oh, Bianca! Oh, no. <laughs> I think she stopped to turn into a butterfly. Or she's eating a leaf or something. <laughs> Cherry threw the big apple. Cherry! <laughs> Bianca. Oh, she wants to turn into a butterfly. <laughs> yeah. You're up there. <laughs> Great effort by Cherry. Two weeks in yeah, a row. Two Cherry. weeks. He's got the double. <laughs> it means a lot winning Friday Night Live. Oh. So close to the end of the series with 250,000 bucks up for grabs. Yep, this means Cherry. he's automatically through to the final week. You have emerged the winner of the Friday Night Games. Collect your trophy from the podium. Losing housemates, celebrate your champion. For the first time this year, Big Brother 2008, Bryce Fitzberg is Bryce right. Bryce Fitzberg! And it was just a mix-up. Because... Oh, come who, on! Who's just a mix-up? Hey, I told you, I caught up with him during the week. I had a coffee and he, and he thought that we said pick the losers each week. Now he knows. I bet my life well, is not right There's next only week. a couple of weeks left. He knows who's going to win One every week. One out of ten doing well, Fitzy. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll see next week. If you can pick the winner then, I will believe him. There are only 17 days to go on Big Brother. 17 days. Oh, my days. God. What are we going to do without Big Brother to watch? What are we going to do? 
You're going to watch Friday night download. That's what you're going to yeah. do. Your votes are more important than ever. Should Bianca, Rory, or Terry or Travis be gone this Sunday night? Who do you want to see gone? Well, if you like any of those housemates, you've got to start voting the other ones off so your favourite housemate gets through to win Big Brother. Here come the eviction numbers. <laughs> To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 555 and then for Terry at 67, for Travis at 68, for Bianca at 64, for Rory at 66, or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 6th of July. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.com.au. won tonight's games. Let's have a look at his night, his winning streak. Great effort by Cherry. This is the big yellow taxi. He guided his team the hot dog race. He was on fire there. He's a competitive man. Last two weeks at Central Park, he was very good there. And this was the big apple race where he absolutely flogged Bianca. The winner of this week's Friday Night Live. Put your hands together for Cherry again. Cherry! Oh, I've got to say... Not just Cherry being an absolute champ, but this audience have been fantastic oh, yeah. tonight. Well, I love you guys. And your signs. Look at them. Look at those signs. That's the most signs that we've ever had. And don't forget, if you want tickets for the final couple of weeks of Big Brother, yeah. just go to bigbrother.com.au or you can go to dreamworld.com.au and buy yourself tickets for the Sunday eviction shows, the finale, the Friday Night Live finale is going to be something to write home about Oh, my it. God. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of excited but dreading it as well. We're, we're doing something we've never done before on television together, so it's something... We're going to really embarrass ourselves. About. So, uh, Cherry has won tonight. Let's get down to the arena and see what he scored. Jokes, right. Yeah. OK, yeah. all of my jokes are dirty. I can't tell them once. <laughs> I've got a chicken. It has to be Maybe a chicken joke. Maybe he has just beaked him. <laughs> kind of smart. Oh. As Ben said, he's just got like a... Bloody bee, bloody bee, bloody bee. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I had no idea what to do. Absolutely no idea. You are a hooter at parking. The only other one I thought of right at the end, and I didn't good. get a chance to say it, say, was... Parking was good. What's the yeah. difference between um, Look at the hot dog, you Travis know? and Cherry? Yeah, that's bad. Travis is two stubby short of a six-pack and Cherry's got one. I got in the actual <laughs> only thing I had at the, the end that I thought of. Clamp? Oh, man. Yeah, see, that's what I'm trying to worry about, the clamp. Mm. He got okay, stuck goals. on the worry, apples. Do you want to touch him? Yeah. <laughs> what was the job? I don't know how you moved. How did you move? I was trying to body roll and I was I just, just got staying my, in the same Got my knees like that. Yeah. When he, I couldn't get my knees up. And then my shoulder went. Like, like, oh. yeah, you have oh, to yeah. kind of get in there with your knees up, I reckon. Yeah. And then my head or something got stuck on but the apple. I couldn't that, get in. And then you push your whole suit over. Because you're pushing your knees down. Yeah, he lost his helmet because he's super Imagine if I had been in there with my big bump. But I said, I said at the start, I go, guarantee BJ yeah. gets over a first bit by the time Cherry's yeah. at the end of the I tried to roll, but as soon as you get oh, that, Cherry's like, oh, I'm oh, 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 just being really. With her big boobs. It'd be nice to see. And I had no new spots. That's a tough one. I was so tired of the fight. I love drinking Spring Valley Smart Water. I feel so tired. This is Big Brother. No, man, my neck was like. Cherry to the diary room. Oh, there is a lot of pain. You stay in another week. Sponsor. The Mars Cherry said, with my reins over that month, hands going to be your bloody pink sugar stuff. No! <laughs> <laughs> Cherry. Big brother. Congratulations. Cheers. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Back to back. It's always good. <laughs> Cherry, as the winner of the Friday Night Games, you remain head of the Big Brother household. Yeah. Next to you is an armband. Put this on now. Mm. Cherry, you have also won the power to change evictions. Yeah. Have Tonight's you... mystery prize is a winner's banquet for you and three guests in the Big Brother banquet room. Yeah. Cherry, which three housemates do you choose to accompany you and why? 
Um, seeing as it's a big brother banquet and um, try and spread, spread things around a bit, I'm going to take uh, a couple of big eaters in there. So I'm going to take um, Rory, Al and Ben. Cherry. Yeah. Go to the lounge and inform the housemates you have chosen of your decision <coughs> immediately. Thank you, Cherry. That is all. <coughs> um, as you know, we're all going to the banquet. Oh, there's three of us, so uh, I'm going to spread it around and pick three big eaters. So I'm taking Rory, Al, and Ben. <laughs> Roger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Elliot, so let's get changed. Mm -hmm. Just said it's a big banquet. Kissy. So yeah. I just went on whoever eats the most. We probably just took the alcohol out because you and I are going in. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is now. Oh, it's not Cambry House. We had to show you last night. Yeah, actually, yeah. I took two of the out of meeting people, so <laughs> you guys aren't allowed to drink. Just me and Roy. You want to get changed? I don't know, he didn't say go straight in, he said go and inform and say, yeah, get change, I guess. This is Big Brother, Cherry, Rory, Alice, and Ben. The Big Brother banquet room is now open. Bon appetit. I will not say bon appetit. You won't be allowed to. Oh, oh yeah, I just like hot dogs and shit. Oh, American sex. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, good as that. Pink Hey. Yeah, but we Yeah, but we're 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 Cherry bomb. Rory, Alice and Ben taken to the little room to have their Independence Day dinner on the day Aww. that Americans signed the Declaration of Independence. Thank you, my history teacher. Tell you what, is that strategic? No, it's not. They are just three of the people he didn't pick last yeah. week. So I think he's trying to stay in the good books with everybody what? because he's spreading it around. But I think Terry is the only one who's left out, if my memory serves and me right. head of the house, that means he's got another week. I think Cherry's got a really good chance of taking it out. And in the audience tonight, there's a lot of Cherry fans. He's been, I think he's, uh, the last couple of weeks, he's got on everyone's good side. I, think, I actually think, I think that he's he... got a good chance. No, I reckon he flies under the radar a bit. Can I ask, if you're a Cherry fan, does that make you a Cherry picker? Oh. 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 You can end the show now. You can end <laughs> have you been getting your you jokes know, off Terry? You know, if you don't want, yes, I have. If you don't want Cherry to win, make sure you vote him off. You know, if you want someone else to win, because it's getting down to the arse end of it. If you don't want two hundred and fifty thousand dollars at stake. It's a lot of money. Don't forget to watch the Daily Show Sunday at six thirty, or check out the live streaming on your three mobile on the Big Brother website. Join Carl and Jackie O on Sunday at seven thirty for the Eviction Show and Pamela Anderson. Woo! Entering the house next Wednesday at 7.30. Voice your opinion on Big Brother by uploading your video to the three mouth mouthpiece. Shut up, Brie. Mouthpiece section of the Big Brother website. If your clip is aired on Monday Night's Big Mouth, you scored this awesome three mobile broadband dongle. Plug it into your laptop for internet on the go. Thanks to three. And I'm going to be in Adelaide at uh, Marion tomorrow. Three mobile store. Come Who's on. There's some Adelaide people here, have you? Hello. Yeah. Good to see you. Go to they're getting flogged tonight. But Thank you to Carl Risley. Let's hear it to Carl Thank Risley. You. The All local Queenslanders. Terence, he was great tonight. We love him. Awesome housemate. Bree, thank you to Fitzy. Thanks, Mike. You've been an awesome crowd. Next week is Circus Night with Pamela Go Anderson. Go Pamela Anderson, you'll be awesome. I'm Mike Goldman. You've been Goldman. See us out, Carl. Good night. It was late, I was walking you home We got them to the gate And I was dreaming of the night But would it turn out right?
brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.